Hi there, my name is Nettie and today we're playing Factorio. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. When I last left off, we were starting to get this train set up going, um, so we can really get these uh, <laughs> these gears moving. So let's let's finish up with that as much as we can, and then hopefully we can actually start getting the, uh, some gears being built, and then uh, and then the world. We'll go. I don't know what's next. Who knows? Who rightly knows? All right. So, eh. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, I think no. This one, this one is right, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So that they're both right in in terms of where where they go. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm going to... No, that's fine. They're fine. Train's fine for now. So, let's go ahead and... We're going to set this up to be like... Nope, not like that. We're going to set that to be like that. And this is going to be our input there and then our output there what did I just hit why did that all turn blue <laughs> I don't know who knows okay so then we're gonna have to somehow get all of this down here in a way that makes some sense let me go ahead and do this real quick just so I have this area to play with we'll redo the cables in a minute um and then this is gonna have to go out this way so we'll just sort of assume that's gonna cut cut across right there and then Hmm, I'm just trying to think because I'd like to at some point this will be a little bit bigger and it'll be maybe a little easier to deal with this but it's a, but I would like to sort of utilize all of these so I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna manage that we could also tweak this a little bit so that this goes this way Like that? Was that what I was doing? Sure. Um, yeah, one to four. So that that's theoretically where that will go once the gears are done. And I'm trying to think of how I might do storage solutions as well, but maybe I won't worry about that. We'll just let let everything get backed up. But Ideally, what I'd like is trains that just aren't here. You know, they just sit somewhere else until until we need something. But I don't know. I don't really know how to set that up yet. So, okay. Um. So then, what I would love to have is maybe here. Like that. And then basically this setup here that didn't really do what I needed it to do did it uh, let me get rid of this real quick Cut a cut, but whatever. And then I'm going to flip it this way instead. Um. So every two should have a thing. I'm just trying to see if I can, how compact I can make this. That, and then like. No, not there. Here. 
and then there and then uh, there right this one this goes to here this goes to here this goes to here and then these two oops are like that I think sure that seems right now <laughs> hmm I see a little bit of a problem here in terms of where the heck I send these uh, uh, belts but let's see here <laughs> now I can make these suppose these could all be obviously the real way would be give my pipes more room but barring that Right? That doesn't seem right. There. 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 And there. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It's going to be It's going to be sloppy. <laughs> I don't want anything to be sloppy. Mm. It's going to have to be though. Oh, also, these are all backwards. <laughs> so, fell out of good that did. There? No. Yes? Uh, wait, <laughs> wait, this doesn't work the same way backwards, obviously, or does it? No, it should. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why won't you do that, though? Hello? You won't flip if it's like that? I guess not. I guess that makes sense. Oh boy. All right. Well, what are you going to do? I suppose we could certainly Trying to use as much, utilize as much space as possible here. So that gives me six. 
but a little bit more space. So if I do, I hate that. If I just do, I should really build this right, but I'm not going to right now. Eh. Because I could do something like this. <laughs> Which might actually make some sense once uh, there's buildings like down here and stuff, but certainly doesn't make sense right now. All right. Um, but for now, really all I need is these two. Anyway. Because that's all I'm going to be dealing with right now. Okay. Let's send these here. And these here. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. Um, okay, cool. So now power, I'll go ahead and just move a little bit more like this. Oh, beans. There we go. <laughs> um, and then we'll send this this way and we'll deal with that in a minute. So let's see if I can't get some actual stuff moving here. This obviously is in the wrong spot now. And these are, of course, full. <laughs> so, lovely. And these don't even... Do they not work at all? They can't fill that from here? Like, I know they're in the wrong spot altogether, but why can't these... Oh, because there's nothing there, is there? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that could be part of it, I guess. Is that there's nothing actually? I was wondering why I used yellow. That's why I gotta. That's why I gotta not do that. <laughs> that's why I gotta not use <laughs> yellow belts. Oh boy. Anyway, okay. Let me. While we're waiting for that, let me go ahead and set this up real quick. So this is gonna be. Boo. This is going to be. Uh, iron gears. I have to actually be able to reach to paste stuff. Wild. Okay. So that's gonna be iron gears. Let me go ahead and set up. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and delete all these real quick, just for a bit. Well, I guess it made it doesn't matter forever, but <laughs> certainly for now. So that I'm gonna start to drain these first. So I can like take them down without absolutely ravaging my inventory as much as possible. Oh, uh, and then last but not least, we've got to set this to uh, inventory full or 60 seconds, and then this is going to be empty cargo or 60 seconds. So this isn't going to work Really? Because actually, theoretically, what I could do is so I don't have to like manually move all this stuff. I can theoretically flip a couple of things here, <laughs> and by manually move, I just mean tear these full chests down. Just because that will be a nightmare. But I could do this.
just to sort of help myself along a little bit. That way this is going to be basically automatic. That's a little slapdash, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, whatever. Who cares? All right. Um, and then that's going to get pulled out, but of course it's in that chest, which is not helpful <laughs> for me right now. So maybe just to get this thing uh, slightly up and running while we wait for uh, while we wait for what the heck I'm doing to actually happen. We'll set this up. Like this. And we'll get a, start to get a sense of the madness that we are bringing to the table here and if anything any of this makes any sense whatsoever probably not but this could go back and forth several times and happily just move, move all this around <laughs> and then I guess there's nothing stopping me from doing it here too oh whoops I took down the power pole we can go like that, and then, oh, wrong way. This is unhinged, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Balanced. help that out a little bit by doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be fixed. Oh my gosh, that was so fast. So, so fast. Uh, uh. that up and then get some of these guys hello oh interesting okay I didn't know they would do that that's pretty cool I didn't know they would they would not put stuff down if there was a ghost in the way. Awesome. Okay. So that is something. It is in fact a thing that is in fact working. <laughs> we can now take a train and um send it to the next thing. Which is very exciting, because now we actually can start doing the next thing. So what can I do with gears? What can I do with just gears and plates, I suppose? Um, belts, obviously. But I want to start working towards, uh, you know, some of the things that we've already sort of automated a little bit. So we have things like uh, pipes as well. We have belts. So I definitely want to get all of this stuff up and running as much as I can as well. Um, so we have, we're doing plates and then steel might also not be a bad idea to get started with right away. But I think belts might not be bad. And then things like this can maybe start getting taken down once that actually is working. But like, let's say we kick up our science uh, production as well. So science is one copper and one iron. So we're going to need copper. So it might be worth getting getting copper up and running as well. 
Um, okay, so theoretically, how much space, realistically, would I have liked to have uh, in between these two tracks? Let's start thinking about it reasonably and, and make then the f all future stations actually work properly. So if I have the main line and then we'll say that this can be here, I think that's sort of the, the minimum reasonable uh distance here for a for a track to do that so let's say that's the distance between so this is the this is one of our stations and then down here will be our other station and right now i only have one two three four uh four tracks gap which is not enough so let's say it's gonna instead be We'll go ahead and, uh, what's this? Train out of fuel. Oh, right. That is a, oh, wow, just right in the middle of the, middle of the run. Okay, that makes sense. We're also gonna have to move some coal from down here, I suspect. That'll probably be the easiest way to do that. Um, unless we want to also get this train into the mix, which actually we might wanna do, because I, I'm gonna need something on one of these coal or one of these copper nodes probably this one since it's 30 million uh there's a fair amount of biters in between here and there but we'll deal with that and so maybe what i'll do is i'll assume that i'm going to have a line a train line running maybe this way we'll put another intersection like over here have it go down and then there will be a you know stop here obviously but that will just be on the main line now right and now this this can start becoming sort of obsolete so maybe what we'll do is have extend the main line out this way have a station come down here or maybe we could even just move where the coal is being pulled from it can be up here maybe and the coal can just get moved down this way uh that make more make more sense um because actually currently this doesn't have an input station uh, this is doing nothing right now so that could be for coal. Um, so this is a Noah Dire Blood. Man, these stations are just the best. Um, so yeah, we might have we might disassemble this a little bit and maybe make this come up the main line and come over here and actually deposit the coal somewhere over here, maybe. And that way, we start to get into the kind of the habit or the 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 zone of using these trains in train in and outs as where all the stuff comes and goes and comes from not having bespoke train stations like this anymore so that might be a that might be a good thing to uh work on soon so that we can get that coal for now i might just you know just snag a little bit from here just because i think we're generating enough that it's not gonna not gonna be missed and then uh figuring out how coal is going to happen sort of more long term because obviously we're gonna want um we're gonna want the coal we're gonna want the trains to be able to refuel pretty regularly and sort of always if that makes sense like i don't really want them to end up in a situation where they go to a stop kind of far away and then uh run out of coal while they're there or anything like that but i'm thinking the trains will sit at like sort of a home base anyhow and that's probably where they'll get refueled. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, there's probably better fuel uh, systems later anyway. So we'll say this, 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 and then we're probably going to want like at least four. I'll just say four because that's an easy balancer and it should give me plenty of, of movement here if I do something like this. Um, I gotta figure out if I, a way to do, well, I guess I could reverse this 
if I just give it a little bit more space. So if I say uh, that, but then give it a little bit more room, instead of putting it right here, we put it right here. That way that can go like that. And then the next one over can go like this. So it doesn't interfere with that one. Have to leave a gap there. Um, and then something like that. Because that should... Okay, let's just sort of say for that we'll sort of plan this out a little bit. Oh, the other way around though. Not like it matters. <laughs> it's non-functional. Just just so that we can sort of get a sense of exactly what we will need. Like that, and then, uh, no, not you. That, and that, and finally, that, and that. No, that, nope, that. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So then this can come like that. So we might need more than four. Well, but again, I think even though we technically have these five outputs, I think for me, uh, do I want to do it like that? Maybe we'll just do this just so that we have plenty of room. And then the, the train will go there. So that's the kind of space that we will have instead of instead of what we had before, right? So we'll we'll take this instead. There we go. Alright. <laughs> that's a fair bet. That's a fair bit of space, but I think, so that is six, six tracks in between uh, the two stations. What is wrong with you? Oh, obviously, <laughs> forgot how trains work. So yeah, we're going to need to do more here too. Um, <laughs> oh, beans. Oh, beanies. But anyway, yeah, so cool. We've got we've got uh gears ready to rock and then and then we're gonna start sending the places. So yeah, and then so yeah, I think this is this makes sense for this and then like what we might do is something like this oh trees no one asked you trees you know something like that and then not that because that's gonna be Longer. So this is the main line. This is the station, which we might still need to move a little bit this way. What's here? Oh, how are you still alive? How big is it? Oh, it's two tracks. That's right. Okay. Two tracks there. And then essentially the same thing but this instead up here yeah cool all right i like that so yeah it's 
you know, it's it's big. It takes up a lot of space. It means our factories are going to have to be set back from the train stations a little bit more than originally planned. But I think that this this allows me to really build these the way that I want, you know, where they're, you know, this main line comes along and the trains can uh, jump back and forth between these tracks and go to the various stations, turn around. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's a big, it's a big job. It's a long process, but we're getting there. We're moving. We're doing stuff. Anyway, this could possibly get down here in any kind of reason. Oh, yeah, sort of. Kind of. <laughs> we might have to tweak that a little bit. Mainly just probably have to move this over to the right just a little bit more, probably. But anyway, I, I, don't, I don't hate that. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I think that's going to have to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. When I come back with more Factorio, um, we will uh, go move on to the next thing. Um, maybe belts and things like that. But also, I think a big priority is to get copper and to move that in a much more, much more meaningful way, uh, much quicker. Um, up and down through here. We're going to have to do a little bit of combat stuff. That is probably no joke. And get rid of a little, a couple of these biter nests. I'm still a little concerned. Like, hello? Um, with combat? Although, oh no, that's a red thing. That's a to delete. Just like all these. We're running out of, running out of some of the iron over here. But, uh, yeah. But we'll hopefully get, we'll be able to get some of this copper up and down on a, on a big main line over here and start moving it into a place that's going to make red science like we already had, but at a much higher volume, which will hopefully continue our process of getting everything upgraded to be, to be bigger, to be better, to be more, um, more efficient, more effective, larger volumes. That way we can start to transition into some of the, some of the stuff we haven't gotten to yet. Um, and automate all the things that we use on a regular basis. Um, so that's another priority that I want to try to get to as soon as possible. Doing things like automating underground undergrounders and, and splitters and tracks and all this stuff, obviously, that I use quite a bit. Tracks probably should be pretty high up on the list. So that's going to also be stone. So we want, want to do steel and stone. Uh, also ASAP. Stone... Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit here. That wouldn't be too hard to bring in since we already have some train stuff going on. But I haven't I haven't found a giant stone. Well, giant for where I am right now. You know, up 20, 20 million plus uh, stone node yet. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, I think it's going to do it. Thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you again. I hope you have an incredible day. Okay, bye. Don't get run over my train. Thank you again for watching the video. If you'd like to see more from me, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I'd also very much love to hear from you down in the comments below.